In this episode, we're going to share with you what we have found works for us when doing a cleanse, like a juice cleanse, you know? I'm Sienna. And I'm Toast. We're partners in love, life, and music. And we've been together since 2001. With each episode of this podcast, our goal is to help our fellow LGBT community members lift their lives to the next level. Hey, and welcome to this episode. Do you feel good? I feel better. Do you feel clear? Yes, I'm feeling a little (laughs) cleansed. Hey, everyone. We are going to share a little bit about our cleanse that we are actually on right now as we record this um but before that something so funny that happened during the holidays is uh so we had a gathering for christmas i mean it wasn't like a gathering but it was we had uh friends over for dinner we had visitors yeah yeah that we had been wanting to see and have over for dinner for quite some time and lucky for us they were actually free um during the holidays. Mm-hmm. So they came over and in preparation for that, we actually I have that wrong. That was actually what I'm gonna <laughs> say is we're all mixed up. I, cle- we're not clear after all. This <laughs> cleanse, I don't know. It was actually Thanksgiving. That's right. When we had people yeah, over for that's Thanksgiving. Right. So with Thanksgiving comes a pie, and we talked about all of this stuff. But when you have a pie, you want like a whipped cream. So when the holidays come, mm-hmm. we make these food purchases that we make at no other time of the year. Right. And one of those well, is that bottle, that metal tube yes. with a nozzle at the top. Now, it wasn't it wasn't Ready Whip, but it was something like that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and so we had one of those, which is full of dairy. And then we also had one, um, I don't know what the brand is, but it was fantastic. And that one was made with almond milk, which was so good, although Bear doesn't. He will not touch that one. (laughs) He knows the difference. But the funny thing is that I think our cat is, so he's very, he's very, um, he responds to sounds. Yeah. But I think all cats do. Uh, Yeah, I guess so. (laughs) Because the (laughs) cats have ears generally. (laughs) And when you open a can of wet food, right, that popping the top of the middle but he doesn't food, really run. That's kind of, but other cats do. Other cats like, that's do. That's kind of a right. thing. Yeah, yeah. not happens. for him. But so, as you know, we had the we had the party, and I think no one wanted the whipped cream. So we had the whole. We had two full I canisters. Think I had. Oh no, yeah. I think we had li- a little. Right, I had the almond. Rain yeah, had the almond, little. and then you guys had the um, the real cream and stuff like that but anyways so bear started to get conditioned to the sound that the canister makes how do you make (laughs) yes exactly that's good yeah so he got used to hearing that and he so at one point he would come running whether but it's he was because upstairs. we fed him a little bit well, of cream. Well, we gave him like That's a little why. star-shaped amount, and then that <sighs> turned into like a little line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he loves it so much. And you're not supposed to really feed them, you know, like milk and dairy and things like that. But, you know, we it just was a treat for him short It was the holidays. Yeah, and, and when is he going to see that canister again? Like next year. Next year, year right? But he... Like Toes would want to eat pie with that, and I'm like, "Don't he? He can't. We can't give him any." But to me, I'd rather have Toast be deprived of her whipped cream <laughs> than to than to have her eat it and then have Bear go without. There was even a time where he was I saw sleeping, right? Bear. Yeah, I saw Bear sleeping. I think it was in our bedroom, but it was someplace up, <laughs> upstairs. Yeah, and he was Knocked sleeping. Out. So I thought, perfect time for me to go downstairs and have a, whatever it was, a slice of pie or, or add coffee some, with the, yeah, with add the, some whipped yeah. cream to the top. So I went downstairs yeah. and, and I hear him coming Run. down the stairs. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I, I, re- so I was cute. really shocked. I was like, wow. So cute. Yeah. And yeah. then recently, like we ran out of, um, 
creamer. I love creamer in my coffee, and I love this coconut creamer. And normally we always, and it's perishable, but normally, just in case I run out, we always have a canned coconut cream in our cupboard. But we didn't have that. We, we actually ran out of that, too. So I looked in the fridge, and I'm like, oh, there's the almond um, creamer. And it was still good and everything. And so I I can't do it. <laughs> but I put that on my coffee, and it was so delicious. But there he is, his big, beautiful eyes. Like, what? I thought, we're done with that. Put some on a plate for him. He snubbed it. He was like, I ain't eating almond milk. This is almond milk, yeah. bitch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he did not want it. Yeah. He did not want it. But I think he's... Th- those cream, those um, whipped creams are now gone from the house. Oh, yeah, totally. Along yeah. with all the leftovers. Oh, my God. And you know how you feel after the holiday eating <sighs> uh, season. Why don't we have control? We needed a cleanse. Why don't we have control? I think we have some control, but it's just tis the season. Yeah. I guess that's the green, the time when it's like, just enjoy yourself. Yeah. In moderation. But that's the thing. I don't think it's, it's moderate. Oh, okay. Well, you know, it could be, it could have been more extreme. I I guess, you know what? Okay. So... Tis a season, you eat and you feast and you give thanks and you celebrate and you toast and then, oh. then you cleanse. The overload. And it's just a little cleanse. It's just a little cleanse. So yeah. we wanted to share what we're doing in this particular cleanse. Maybe mm-hmm. what we found, because we've done cleanses. We have done cleanses. Over, <laughs> over the years. Yes. We're not um, hyper- cleansing types of people because there's some people who will do it well, every we used, month or yeah right? we used we to be hyper cleansers yeah and i think we just kind of let that go because yeah. it's like yeah it doesn't fit in with our life <laughs> but we used to do a monthly yeah. we used to do a twice a year 10 day um but but we don't anymore we don't who knows and we might come back to it we might but, come back to it but this one is so doable yeah so let's share what we're doing okay so for three days for three days, all we are doing... Wait, I thought it was two days. It's three days. Well, I'm doing three days. Okay, I thought I'm it was doing just three two days. days. Okay, okay you, and, you don't have to do three. And, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do three. And dear listener, we are recording this on day two. Yeah. But what I will say is that whether you do two days, three days, ten days, or even just a one. month, you can even just do one day. Like... The impact that food has on our emotional well-being, our spiritual well-being, your energy levels is incredible. Mm-hmm. You can fe- often feel the results very quickly. The clarity comes, all of that. So for us, what we're doing is we are having fresh fruit and vegetable juices throughout the day and at dinner, we are having a raw salad. And that's it. And, um, and I'm so toast, grateful that Sienna is actually making the juice. That's how fresh it is. Yes. So we have had stalks of celery mm-hmm. in our free, um, refrigerator, mm-hmm. apples. We have oranges and lemons Grapefruit, and lemon ginger lime, root. Ginger. So we're not putting all of that in there, but we just, you know put something together what always is in the juice though is a lot of ginger a lot of fresh ginger um lemon celery that's always in the juice and then depending on other things that we have you know we might add in some grapefruit we might add in some apples we might even add in some carrots but we didn't have any carrots this time and um, we're using stevia as a sweetener, right? We do a touch. So if you if you have a Trader Joe's near you, um, they have a great powdered organic stevia that comes with this cutest tiny little little baby scoop. And so we put one baby scoop of uh, stevia in the drink because sometimes you know we put the whole 
rind of uh, lemon in it in the drink and it's so good for you that's where so much of the vitamin c is but it's tart so we add a little bit of stevia to make it more enjoyable yeah and the scoop is basically what like you would say like two pinches approximately right just to give people an idea of like you don't need that much at all yeah you know you yeah i think yeah yeah but that's what we're doing and i'll um full disclosure gosh what is that it's somebody's big manly (sighs) engine outside (laughs) um i actually am also eating a breakfast Mm, so mm -hmm. so i am having uh lightly cooked greens Mm -hmm. Um, i've been having spinach just take some fresh spinach uh heat it heat it up covered on a in a um frying pan i just put some olive oil in the bottom just Mm -hmm. to heat it up put in the fresh spinach cover it yeah and heat it up for a few minutes so it's a little wilty have that in the morning along with what i also have is i've had two eggs in the morning Mm. And, and that's toast. Those. That's toast's regular, pretty regular breakfast. And as you can see, that's pretty healthy. Well, usually I'll have spinach, one egg, and one piece of toast. Piece right? of toast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I've for this cleanse, Take I've out been the taking green. out the grain. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. So toast is really having more more of her cleansing time in the middle of the day, um, and. You're just, you are a breakfast person. Like, I think I it would love be. breakfast, yeah. I know, I know. I think it would be really challenging. Not that you, I mean, you've done it before, but that's why it's good to just, okay, what are you eating for breakfast and how can I clean it up? Like, you don't have to go totally, like, gonna just eat nothing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because the more extreme and the better. longer you do it, you, you do have to watch. It's, it's you, you need to be doctor it's, supervised it's, yeah. um, for a lot sure of people safe. anyways, yeah. because the deeper the cleanse is, the more uh, toxic your body actually becomes because your organs are releasing toxicity. And then if you don't have a way of releasing the toxicity that was now unleashed in your body... Then you can retoxify yourself, basically. So a lot of people, if they're doing a deep cleanse, they will make sure they have that extra support of getting the toxicities that were unleashed, get that out of their system by sweating um, or by uh, colonics also. Um, But a lot of times, if you just go slower, it's it's a much easier way to to do it. Slower meaning... Not mean? so drastic of a cleanse. Okay. So, you know, so, so in other just, words, keep your cleanse to just a few days. To right? a few days, but also what you're doing on those days. Okay. So like for you, because you're, you are still having um, spinach mm-hmm. and your eggs in the morning, mm-hmm. um, but you took out the grain, which is super fantastic because the grain creates, um, can create some sludge in the system. So now it's it's cleaner than it was, mm-hmm. right? But because you're you're doing that and you're still having the solids, those nice solid foods in there, um, it's a slower rate that your body will cleanse at. Is that basically kind of because it gives my digestive system um, so, something to do? Yes. yes. So so it's kind of gives because yes. my understanding, and I mean not to get into this whole medical. Thing. Yeah, because we're but not just, doctors yeah, or but, nutritionists. <laughs> but, just a, but just a broad layman's, like totally just layman's understanding. And you do, well, Sienna does, you do have a background in uh, holistic health beyond just what you will find on Google. You know, like you have actually um, been educated, right, beyond Google searches. Yes, I have toast. Yes. Why, so, yes, I have. Well, I just want to establish that so that people don't think we're just, you know, I'm just talking out of my butt here. It's like I want to um, just establish a general understanding. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the when you do a cleanse, that is uh, reduce the, the, t- the amount of foods that you're eating mm-hmm. and in favor of super easy to digest stuff which is usually juices right juice and 
Juice or raw foods? Raw foods, mm-hmm. cleansing things, water-rich things, mm-hmm. nutrient-rich and water-rich things. Yeah. My understanding is that what that does is it reduces the workload for your digestive system. Yes. And because that is true, mm-hmm. it it reduces the workload for your entire body. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And therefore what your body now has the energy and resources to do instead of digesting your food Mm -hmm. is your body can now start to cleanse itself on the inside. Exactly that. Meaning, meaning all the, any, any toxins that you did eat (laughs) through your food and stuff in the past, what, what your body how your body deals with that and protects you from those toxins is it, it will store those it will store those toxins like in your in the fat it'll, or, st- it'll store it in the fat to protect you and right. oftentimes too it's in your um, organs right if it's a hev- like heavy metals are oftentimes in your in your organs right so that so when your body as soon as your body has the chance to mm-hmm. it's going to start dealing with all of that and releasing exactly. all of that back into your system, your system, yeah. so that your system can eliminate it Ex- truly from your body, not just keep it you in know, your fat or keep it your, stored yeah, yeah. up and away from things. Okay, okay, exactly that's that. All I just so, wanted to make sure I understood that. Exactly that. So um, I think I covered this, and we talked about this in another podcast. But when I had my mercury amalgams uh, removed. Um, my body was no longer being assaulted with having the mercury in my teeth, right? So every day, day in, day out, every single time I chewed, you know, I'm, I'm releasing mercury. Mercury, into mercury. Into your system. Into my system. So my body's just pr- in protection mode, right? All this mercury, all this protect, 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 protect. But as soon as I had all of that taken out, the body's like, oh, we're no longer being assaulted with all this mercury. Ah, now we can start releasing the mercury that we've been putting in her fat, in my fat, mm. putting, storing in my liver. We can now start releasing it. And so it's, it's intense. Like, you know, that's why we're saying, you know, we're not doctors and all that kind of stuff because you really do need the support to help you uh, cleanse properly if you're doing a deeper cleanse, if you're dealing with things like heavy metal um, toxification, um, and you're detoxing from that because the symptoms, it can awaken a lot of stuff in your body. And, um, but the thing to know is that our bodies are so wise. You know, the fact that it even does what it does, like with Tos explaining that, oh, okay, now we're not being taxed. So now I have the energy to go take care of this thing that I was kind of putting here until we had the, the energy to take care of this. But the body really can cleanse itself of, um, all the chemicals, all the toxicities, um, abnormal cells, you know, it knows how to expel all of that stuff. Clears up your skin. Yes. But if we keep feeding our body crap, it can't do it because every single moment of the day, it's dealing with the crap we're putting in our bodies. Mm. So the cleaner you eat, all of that stuff, you give your body a chance you know, to really do what it's meant to do. I mean, it's always protecting us, mm. but uh, you just give your body a better chance. Okay. So, so that that's well, why we're hearing doing that it. and talking about that is motivation for me to keep going. <laughs> I know, because today, like, I want to eat potato chips. So, but I'm not. But I do. It's time for more juice. That's what that means. <laughs> or drink water. Water. Water will... is. Oh my god. But right, that's a important whole other on podcast the cleanse too, water. right? Yeah. Like yes. I'm trying to drink yes, a lot of water. Yes, because what is what does water do? It goes in. It not only hydrates, but it will help carry away gunk, and you'll pee it out. Mm-hmm. Pee it out. So all the toxicities being released, you can pee it out. Right. It's kind of alarming when. Okay, now we're getting. How people Just drink their T- pee? TMI. No, not how people drink their pee. No, people who, right? Like when they, like they have grills like, yeah. And they're trying whatever. to survive on in the world. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> no, I was going to say it's kind, it's kind of alarming sometimes when you use the bath, like you go pee, mm-hmm. and then you see how dark your pee is. Oh. 
you know, that can be alarming. Yeah. Drink well, water. that's when you're like, oh my God, I better drink a ton. Yeah. <laughs> drink a ton of water. Well, have you had blood in your pee? I have. No. I yeah. know you have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, Anyways. Intense and heavy. That was like from a kidney thing, but yeah. that is why that we are ago. inspired to, that's actually how I was introduced to raw foods. Cause I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't, this is not working. I don't know what no. is happening to me, but no. we're changing yeah. We're changing things here. So anyways, um, maybe you folks have already done a cleanse. Maybe you're considering it. One day does wonders. One day does wonders. Mm-hmm. So you might want to think about that. But whatever you do, check with your doctor. Get the support you need. Um, do your research and all of that good stuff. Yeah. And something's better than nothing. Yeah. yeah just one absolutely. day. You'll feel it. Yeah. You'll feel better. Or even just going, you know what? This this week or this day or a few days, whatever it is, I'm just not going to eat meat. You know what? Right. This time, yeah, yeah, I'm just not going to eat dairy. Yes. You know what? I'm just not going to eat green. Yeah. You don't have to do all juices, you know? Right. So, anywho. Okay. Thanks for listening. Have a great day, you guys. <laughs> and thanks for geeking out with us about cleansing and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. This is Sienna. And this is Toast. Telling you, love life. Live free, drink juice.